Intro. Here it is. Three years in the making. A huge budget of two dollars ninety-five. Seventeen elephants. Sixteen camels. Two drag queens and a goat. This is. Elephant. Thank you very much. That was really slack. <laughs> so, welcome to our second show. Thanks for joining us again. Uh, we have some great acts tonight. We have our game show with Mistress Avaline again and uh, a singer, and joining us now for our celebrity interview is a, a writer, reviewer, DJ, and radio personality, Fiona Scott Norman. Thank you very much for coming along. Thank you. How are you feeling today? I could not be more excited to be here. <laughs> <laughs> like only three minutes ago, she's going, God, I'm hungover. Uh, fantastic. Yeah, sleep deprived. Now, you're a reviewer for The Age, is that correct? It is indeed. Bing, that's your first point. Um, now, is there a difference for you between the word reviewer and the word critic? Apart from spelling and stuff. Apart from yeah, spelling and um, stuff. Yeah, absolutely. I think that criticism is uh, a bit, little bit more heavy duty than reviewing. I think, you know, reviewers are just people who kind of reiterate the plot mm -hmm. and um, talk about the uh, costumes. Whereas um, criticism, I think, is much more an analysis of what's going on in the show, what, what it's actually about, the okay. subtext, the surtext, is that, context. Is that always for somebody else to say what it is? Because sometimes, surely, you have that whole artistic thing of like, oh, well, you see in it whatever you see. Yes. And so... Uh, but it's my that... job to tell you what you're saying. Oh, but, OK. You're going on working out for yourself. Well, yeah, but it's not as simple as that. Often people come out of a show and they'll have a sense of feeling something, but they don't know why. Whereas right. if you articulate it in a review well, if that's what you, if you do your job properly, then people can read a review and go, yes! Because I find on the whole that people who read, read reviews are people who've been to the show already. Oh, all right. Yeah. Just to see whether, whether you agree. Yes, or... absolutely. I think so. Do you think there's, a, there's a, a sort of a market research aspect to it? Like they'll read the, the review, see if it's worth going to see that show or not? I don't know. I think unless you really shellack a show, and then people go, well, I'm not going to go and see that. <laughs> because everyone reckons it's dogs. Um, I think, no, probably not. Right. Yeah. Shellac a show. That's, isn't that like a, a type of varnish? <laughs> it's a really Absolutely. varnish show. Yeah, just go it. Uh, now, on your radio show, you, you, you do something quite interesting there, don't you? Oh, all the time. You, you have, I was going to say horticulture, but it's actually um, karaoke. Yes. And you get B-grade celebrities in to do karaoke singing. That's part of the show, indeed. Have a bit a uh, B-grade celebrity guest, um, someone along the lines of... Um, <laughs> you oh, 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 oh you're going, in trouble now. Who's she going to say? I know, I know. I'm just going, oh, I'm sure they'd be really delighted at being labelled B-grade celebrities. Um, Tony Barber. Uh, <laughs> we love you, Tony. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Bernard King, uh, and, John and Safran, Shane Paxton. Shane Paxton sang. Yes. Fantastic. Oh, yes, everyone sings. Everyone gets to the end of the show and gives it a burl. My favourite, probably over the years, has been um, Joe Dolce singing YMCA. <laughs> <laughs> he changed the lyrics. It was most amusing. So, so how was it that you ended up in radio and doing DJing? Uh, well, I've just always had a really um, big interest in bad music. Uh -huh. And, uh, yes, my radio trash, my record collection is very scary. And um, basically, my friends just got sick of me frightening them when they came round. And I just had the idea of doing it as a radio show. So I did that. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. And just sort of started off and went that way. Now, I, I will go back to theatre for just one second, because you were saying something before to me that was quite interesting. You were saying that you felt that Melbourne audiences were... How specific and how at the moment? Um, I, yeah, I'm 
finding that Melbourne audiences, I think, are very dead. Yeah. They're, they're not meeting people halfway? No, I don't think so. I think if you're a performer, you need to have some kind of energy given you by an audience. And I've been speaking to a few international performers, and they've been saying that um, it's hard here. And I think there's some responsibility that has to be taken. All right, guys, if you're out there, put it in there. Fiona Scott Give it up. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you. <laughs> Mistress Adeline. It's time for the naughty game show. Steroid junkie, instant hunky, can't fool me. You're an ugly monkey. <laughs> Kill it. Now, Mr. Saverline. Welcome once again to Mr. Saverline's Wheel of Torture. So, once again, can we have two contestants from the audience, please? Okay. Now, as you saw on last week, we don't have buzzers on this show. We have a slave. So we take one of the crops and take one of the crops. Now, um, on the game show, traditionally, you test the buzzers. So would each of you like to take a swipe at the slave and to um, see how the buzzer goes? Oh. Oh. There we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we could get a whole musical thing happening here. And as you can see, we've changed sets. We're in the kitchen this week, proving that um, S&M and B&D can be used in any room of the house. OK, here we go with the questions. What is the largest gay city? San Francisco. Well, well, you have to wait till I say which one, but yes. It's me? Yes. I'm good. Okay, and just make sure I hear your answer. San Francisco. That's correct. Okay. Where is the Melbourne Pride March held? Right. Well, well, well. <laughs> no, no, I believe, you, I believe you were first. St Kilda? That's correct. The musical about Peter Allen's life is called what? Oh. The Boy From Oz. That's correct, I know. <laughs> You're really getting in, into this. Which state has only recently made the leap out of the Middle Ages and declared homosexually legal? Western Australia. Oh. Tasmania? That's correct. <laughs> Which Australian film won an Oscar for its costumes? Very bright, very... Look, look at them. That's correct. <laughs> All right. Which rugby league player recently came... Oh, for a while, but came out for his homosexuality? Uh, Ian Roberts. That's correct. Um, what is the name of the 21-year-old student that the gay communities across the world have been mourning after his horrific murder? Uh, Matthew Shepard. That is correct. <laughs> Which tennis player um, declared her sexuality in the 1970s? Uh, Martina Navratilova. That is correct. Okay, one more question before we spin the wheel. The name of the community group that promotes better relationships between the gay and police community is? Girlpad. Girlpad. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> Absolutely. No, it's not cheating because I say it's okay and my word's fine also. Okay, um, <laughs> do, we, <laughs> do we have a winner? Uh, yes, it's the girl girl. <laughs> the girl girl? <laughs> whose name I don't know, I'm sorry. Rachel? Rachel. Rachel gets to now spin the wheel of torture to find out what more infliction gets happening on the slave. So if you'd like to spin the wheel. <laughs> and it stops here. The, the point has disappeared. Do you want to point it where it's at? <laughs> That looks to me to be ten strokes of the cane. All right, I just... Can the audience count it? That's amazing. That's amazing. Everyone's a winner. Everyone's a winner, and that'll teach that slave to wear... That'll teach that slave to wear that hat with that G-string. It just doesn't match. And now we have a singer, 
the young, the wonderful, the beautiful, uh, to me anyway, Mark Antony.
Mark Antony. Mark's actually just released his debut uh, CD and it's uh, available at His Mahinas and Pulse. Pulse, just Pulse or Pulse something? Pulse CDs. Pulse CDs. Um, thank you very much, Fiona Scott Norman, for joining us. Oh, look, I had a great time. Woohoo! We'll be back after the break, so come back here. Bye. Let somebody let that boy out. I'll try that again. Hello and welcome back. We still have Fiona Scott Norman with us. Thank you for staying. I ain't going nowhere. And now we've got white trash cooking with Lindsay and Kesara. So Thank here we go. Really. And somebody oh, else. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. This is white trash. Absolutely. So we'd like to be on that with that um, white trash thing. Well, I don't oh, know. Sure. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Yes. They've given us some music this week as well. <laughs> oh, Actually, we should introduce. I guess yes. This is Michael. Hello, Michael. Hello. 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 How are you? Good. Thank so you. I'm here as Michael Jackson this um, yes. afternoon. So oh. this evening. Because we did that. Silver black or something. I think I might try <laughs> her actually. Do they make her in long black wigs or um, no, is it the white? Light and fluffy. Oh, actually, Look, we're, we're already one minute to do our secret. Oh, okay. Go on. Okay. Let's get to it. What are we doing? Check the egg. Oh, yes. Now you will remember last week that we did try to boil an egg in just hot water. Now. Oh, the water's still warm. Just, I just thought we'd check on this little theory because it's I'm not convinced <laughs> of the fact. Oh, well. oh no, 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 it's not I bad. It's just, <laughs> I wonder if you could get a no. close up of that. It's not so bad. <laughs> it's sort of half boiled, but honestly, it's sort of like a poached egg. It's been in there for about a week. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the egg thing. Now, look, it looks like a little face, doesn't actually, it? Actually, you could. Yeah. Like you could use it as a, um, a hair wash there. Lindsay, at yes. this point of time, they're wondering what this burger is doing. <laughs> this here. burger, well, unlike other people, when we have guests around, we actually pull the food apart to serve it so that they can see the nutritional value in what mm. we are presenting mm. them. Here we have carbohydrates with sesame seeds, which we all know what sesame seeds do to one system. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, I don't want to touch that. No, well, it's far um, too grotty. <laughs> Oh, you do it, Michael. You're a chef. Go yes. for it. Okay, here we go. This is the first shall... time that a burger has been dissected no. on television. There, there okay. you go. Now, the one part cool. of the burger is that. That's it. Um, a rump, I think. That's a rump. The rump. The rump. Yes. Oh, right. I'll okay. get that. What else do you get in your little bar? This is a flying burger. saucer. Can I just check? What's this thing here? What's this? Um, oh, I don't know what's that. It's a gherkin. Mm. So you get mm -hmm. a gherkin. Oops. Like you, you put that on your eyes when you go to bed. You know, it's good for your wrinkles. I don't, okay, whether, the, I don't know whether our dissection segment is actually... Next, um, it, look, just, I don't, just to be fair to the fast food makers here, I am very impressed that it comes with two different layers. I think that's great. It the is. layering is in this summer, isn't it? Oh, yes, it no, is. No, it's always it is, in yes. Melbourne, though, because so, of yes. our weather. No, we're not really. Organise yourself. Look, 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 okay, busy. right. What, um, well, I think I'm just going to show you guys how to make, actually... Uh, I'm the professional chef here today, so... Yeah, I'm sorry, we should have said. Okay, then. A low-fat alternative, actually. Um... What's it called again? A, you called it a really odd name, a chicken bundi? A uh, butty. Oh, butty. Yeah. I'm thinking it's some <laughs> exotic kind bundi. of um, Indian sort of thing. So anyway, I'll show you how to do this. It's like, slap the bread they on there, it, slap England, a few of these. In England they call them a bacon butty, but this is a chip butty. This oh. is a chip butty. Yeah, chip butty. And they're butty. delicious at 5am in the morning when you're absolutely putrid and you, is, you've stopped oh, off somewhere. Absolutely. Usually it's usually a greasy sort of, little place that only sells greasy chips. Well, as I mentioned, I have made the low-fat alternative here by yeah. not adding the butter to it. Oh, so, look, that's, 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 oh, that's look, it. Look at the nice way. No, do, do we need a do lid? Do you like... A lid? Yeah, do we need oh, a Okay, yes. There you go. Okay. There you How's go. How's that? Have we got a shot of that? Dude, that, isn't that, that's delectable. <laughs> no, so that, that was your chip booty. That's that my chip booty. Now, what are you doing there, Lindsay? Well, I'm actually... I'm playing with a burger. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, the person that used to throw the food around. Oh, I do. Just like that. You know? like, <laughs> no, <I'm> not, <laughs> now, you've heard of a frog in a pond. Yes. <laughs> I'm doing a frog at Torquay. Oh, excitement. Ooh. Right. Ooh. A now, frog at Torquay. fill up a now, bowl. I see that you're putting cream in the cream. Oh, I, I love it. Ooh. I'm going to keep some of this by my bed from now on. Some jelly and just put the jelly... <laughs> you are doing a fabulous job there. That's absolutely... Scoop it out. Okay, sort of a... <laughs> there you go. Now, that's the jelly. They're the clips, um, you know, around talking. Do you actually get to eat the spoon as well? Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, that's a, that's a, a, nice it's a, a double ender. Look, now, that's fantastic. Look at this. And your frog that's... just sits in there like oh, that. that's <laughs> heaven. Beautiful. <laughs> absolutely be. beautiful. I just, I just thought of a song. Yeah, there's a drag queen in my kitchen. Remember that? <laughs> no, I don't. No, no. anyway. Well, 
Fiona, have you ever partaken in such delights? Here we go. Would you would you like to taste our, our frog down at Here's a spoon. Here's a nice spoon. Touch, touch, touch by human hands. Oh, we forgot. We forgot <laughs> we got the time. Yes, leave that. Oh, we'll just put that away. There we yeah. go. Now, Fiona, I want you to enjoy this. I want you to taste this. There okay, you go. Okay. It I is a taste sensation. I have, have actually look. hung over, so I was a bit excited about the chip butty. Oh, really? Oh, wait. <laughs> no, I, was going, I, was I will just pass it over to you. That there is you go. I mean, okay. it's not quite the same without the margarine. But, but hey, still. it's low fat. And you um, know what fat does. <laughs> goes straight to your hips. Straight to your hips. Okay, so, so there you go. Have a bite. Have, have a, a bite. bite. Let's see. What does oh. the reviewer critic think about this? What do you think of that? It's sensational. Is it? <laughs> mm. Now. You're good. Thank you very much. I mean, not everyone can do this. <laughs> well, I next mean, next week I promise to actually, um, you know, make something so a bit more is, oh, So next week we're actually doing something real. All right, cool. Oh. Uh, this is what's, unreal. What's the difference between a condom and a pork pie? <laughs> You get more meat than a condom. <laughs> <laughs> Whack a doodle doodle doo. That was Big Trev with his big joke. And now we've got some wonderful music. We have the Misguided Angels. Woo! <laughs>
Guided Angels. Fantastic. Thanks a lot. And they also have a CD out, and that's also available at Hairs and Aina. It's the one with the really colorful cover. Um, now, we've been like sampling some of this. It's fucking amazing. Ooh, I said the word. Oh, wow. Well, oh, I swore. I swore. I said the f word. Mm. I spent a lot of it. Fantastic. And the chip putty is excellent. The, um, the apple pie by an unknown fast food agency. Uh -huh. mm. Superb. Mm -hmm. Well, so this green stuff, this is scary, guys. This is really mm. scary. See, I think everyone just thought I was joking when I was going, no, this is really good, but actually it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's just going to be hung over. Anyway, so thanks a lot to everyone who's been with us today. Fiona Scott Norman, Lindsay, and Kesha Ra, and of course Michael Jackson, and of course the Miss Angels, and Mark Anthony, and, and who have I missed, and everyone. And we'll see you back next week. And I've gone to the gym a couple of times or something. All right, see you. This was Hellbent. Bye. <laughs>